often have you sat there and said to yourself that you really need to like change up what's going on? How often is it that you've got up and you've kind of looked at your day, you've looked at what you've achieved over the last few weeks, months, years, maybe even, and kind of felt that, right, I'm going to start, I'm going to get going. And then kind of, you know, Groundhog Day happens. It doesn't really change and things don't really, really work out the way that you hoped they would. I was sitting pondering on this the other day and I was having a conversation with somebody and, and this thing came out of the conversation about smashing the glass. Now, metaphorically speaking, when we think about, you know, sort of actually physically doing something, sometimes we need to smash that thing. We need to break through. We need to kind of absolutely change up the way that we are doing things to really achieve the things that we want to achieve. But sometimes it can be really hard, can't it? It can be really challenging. It can be really like, I don't even know why this is not happening, but it's just not. So what I wanted to share with you was three tips around smashing the glass and around kind of really seriously breaking that pattern that you're in at the moment. Again, it could be that you've achieved a certain level in your business and, you know, you've got so far in your life, you've got so far with you as a person, you've created some change. And now, you know, you're hitting that glass ceiling and you can't quite work out what it is that you need to do next to seriously smash and break through it. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is, you know, how do I smash it? How do I smash this glass? Well, you know, it's kind of really very simple when you just step back and look at it because the how is all about the commitment to you because we are creatures of habit we are beings that are used to doing things in a certain way and in a very habitual way and historically if you've kind of made commitments and promises to yourself and said that you're going to do certain things and then you haven't actually done that psychologically you've got something going on that's saying well actually it's okay if I don't achieve this because you know I've kind of committed to myself before it didn't really happen and you know and we convince ourselves that that's okay when actually do you know what it's really not okay and then we beat ourselves up and we get really pissed off about the fact that it hasn't actually happened and you know we kind of go back to that place of well, what do I do to do this differently? And the first thing, as I say, that I want to share with you is it's about committing to you. It's about committing to the fact that you are going to smash that glass. And sometimes, actually, you need to physically get it out and do it. You kind of need to throw the gauntlet down and say, right, this is my commitment to me and this is what I'm going to do. So the second thing is the whole philosophy of be, do, have rather than have, do, be. You know, the self-development world is really, really great at kind of, you know, taking us down the path of, you know, if if um, if I do this, then I can have this and then I can become this person. But ultimately, what we really know is that to have those things, we've got to be that person right now. And we've got to kind of reverse engineer that whole philosophy and that whole thing and say it's about being in the now. It's about being the direction right now that you want to move in. It's about, you know, being the change that you want to see in the world. And, you know, it isn't necessarily acting as if. It's about being and showing up today and taking from the first step, you know, committing to acting actually doing the things that you say you're doing because otherwise psychologically you're just telling yourself that it's okay to keep playing small and to keep kind of you know like moseying along the way that you are when actually we know in fact that that's absolutely untrue because you don't want to be that person and that's not how you want things to be the next thing then is about creating momentum so you know step three is create that momentum is you know there's there's lots of different um science around how long it actually takes to create a habit some people say 21 days i've heard up to 60 days it takes to create a habit but actually when you really commit to something and when you really start to tune in literally day after day and you know that is my philosophy take it one day at a time 
because if we start to tell ourselves that we've got to kind of be this person we've got to do this for a consistent period of time sometimes you know the, the fear kicks in and the whole kind of monkey mind kicks in and starts saying well you can't do that because you haven't done it in the past and you know we get into this whole world of our past stories define us in a negative way but what this actually does by showing up every day and starting to create that momentum every single day is it means that actually you start to really change and that's what this is all about isn't it this is all about you because what happens in your life is important to you generally it isn't really important to anybody else because actually they probably really don't care about what's going on in your life but you do and you're the one that has to get up every morning and look you in the the face look into your eyes look into the mirror and you know really own that you are the one that has not been making this happen and that can be a really really challenging and lonely place to be as well because it could be that you know you've achieved some really great things but again as creatures of habit we're very good at glossing over and kind of you know undervaluing the achievements that we've made and especially when it comes down to us as human beings and I am somebody that has been really good at this in the past. Also, I think, you know, the other big key to all of this as well, and I suppose there's a bit of magic in all of this is, you know, if it's really meant to happen, then it absolutely will. Because the universe will take you on a journey, it will take you on a windy path, it will take you on a road that sometimes is a diversion that you didn't really want to take at the time. But the diversion is absolutely critical to where you are going in the future. And that is where the magic really, really happens. It's accepting that, it's embracing that, it's taking responsibility for what's happened. So let's just recap. How do you smash that glass? You commit, you commit to you, you commit to the process, you commit to the change that you want to be in the world. You then become your direction. You become what it is that you want to achieve and you become it today. Because becoming it, you know, weeks down the line, months down the line, that. It's never going to happen, isn't it? Because you're just going to keep ending up back in this place that you're in. And then create that momentum. Literally show up every single day. Do what it is you said you've put on your to-do list. Change up how you call it. You know, I have different, loads of different names. I don't even call it a to-do list. I have loads of different ways that I actually motivate myself. And I project it. So, you know, my list at the moment is called This Happened This Week. So I actually write what I'm going to achieve in the next Sorry, I disappeared there because I didn't put my phone on not to um, disturb. So yeah, I create, you know, this is what is actually going to happen. And I commit to, to creating those things. I'm not even going to say making those things, to creating those things into reality. So if you really want to smash your glass, then that's something that we can do together. I am all about seriously helping you to create this change and to be this person right here in the now. And to do that, you know, part of creating that momentum is having somebody to hold your hand. Because doing this alone can be seriously the most challenging thing because again, all those gremlins creep in, all these different things happen and we tell ourselves that it can't be done. When actually, in fact, it absolutely can. And like I say, I bet you've created some seriously magic stuff already. You just haven't given yourself the credit for what you've actually achieved. So let's work on that. Let's work on empowering you as well, because ultimately this is what it's all about. I mean, it might be that this is a business thing. It might be that this is a personal thing. Do you know what? The business is always going to be impacted by you. So let's work on you first. Let's work on what you need to do. Let's work on, you know, the smash the glass thinking that you need to create. Let's work on the smash the glass self-belief that you need to create. And let's together smash that friggin' glass. PM me for more information and let's talk. Because I know that you can smash this glass. I've smashed so many of my own because I committed to the process and I committed to what really I was all about. So do it. I cannot wait to talk to you. I cannot wait to help you smash that glass and seriously set your world on fire because that's why you came here, isn't it?